Since we last spoke, the bottom seems to have completely fallen out for the Toronto Blue Jays, and I didn't see it coming. Did you? Am I correct in that assessment? It, it just feels like a runaway train. It feels like they're caught in quicksand. It feels like they are just absolutely lost. Mm-hmm. And yet, it, it kind of is shocking, Ruddy. Like, you think back to the 30th of July, they're coming home, playing, you know, in Toronto for the first time in 670 days. There was a bunch of momentum for the next, I don't know, 10 days, two weeks. And then there were, th- then came a road trip, a road trip to Seattle, a road trip to Washington, and then home to Detroit, and you're saying to yourself, this is where they can really make some hay, and instead they they completely unraveled. So, you know, yesterday I'm covering the series, and it was one of those deals where you got to go talk to a vet. You know how it is when it's just, you know, going downhill and snowballing and avalanching and all those kinds of things, and Robbie Ray was saying, look, we still have 40 games to go. It's a young team with guys who haven't been through it. You have to, you know, focus in on the today. Yesterday felt like a huge win for them because the mood was tense around the ball club and just tense around the stadium yesterday. So was it a Band-Aid yesterday or is it something? Uh, we're going to find out over the next couple of days as this White Sox series unfolds. But it seems a little bit like this swoon coincided with George Springer's absence and injury am i right on that is he that important to this lineup not at all no look it comes down to two things roddy they have been awful with runners in scoring position something like six for 70 opportunities have been there and they just have not cashed in timely hitting has not been a thing and the other is the bullpen's just been a complete utter disaster I mean, I don't know how else to put it. Uh, They go into Washington, they have a game one against the Nationals, and then, you know, rocket launchers all over the place, and the Nationals come out with, with, with wins. They made four bullpen moves at the deadline thinking those upgrades would be good enough, and they're not. Matter of fact, other than Jordan Romano, and last night Tim Mesa looked looked good, and, you know, he's a lefty, which helps. But there are very few leverage arms the Blue Jays have that you have legitimate confidence in. So when you combine a poor bullpen performance with an inability to cash in runners in scoring position, that's what's led to this. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching the RP Show on YouTube. And don't forget, we're live daily on YouTube from noon to 2 Eastern. If you like what you see, hit subscribe. And if you like the program, check around for other segments of the Rod Peterson Show here on YouTube.